Good afternoon, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 66 plate. It is a Volkswagen Transporter 2 litre TDI 150 brake horsepower, 6 speed manual, uh, trend line 5 seat combi. There's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, it is a one keeper from new vehicle, it has covered 62,500 miles. It isn't a standard trend line as you can probably gather already, uh, however I will point out to you as we go around um, all the major parts that aren't trend line. Um, those actual facts specification wise are air conditioning, uh, reverse parking camera, factory sat nav, um, alloy wheels and there's some other bits that I've completely forgotten. But anyway, we'll run you through the specifications as we go around. It is in overall really good condition. Um, as I say, one keeper has come direct off the lease. We have a full service history with it. Um, and uh, let's get uh, an idea for you exactly what it's like condition-wise. Um, as you can see, it's in the lovely uh, night blue metallic or whatever the latest generation night blue is. Night blue metallic when I bought one brand new. Um, nice color really um really nice color so obviously the dark blue metallic um starting up there on the roof hopefully you could see there um nothing to point out to you all straight and um tidy as it should be coming down onto your windscreen the windscreen is in good condition with no major stone chips or cracks or anything that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to mot time coming down onto your bonnet your bonnet is in overall really good condition hopefully you can see there you will always get uh, minor minor marks obviously on the front end of the vehicle um, from it having done 60 odd thousand miles but i have to say for the mileage it is in really good condition you know yes you'll get some minor minor sort of stone chips but nothing major certainly nothing stand out at all Coming down to your front passenger headlamp unit, that's all in good condition. Your front passenger bumper corner, again, that's in good condition with no scuffing. Coming around to the front of the vehicle, uh, your front grills, etc., all pretty good. Now there is, there's two bits on this front center grill, okay? So we've got a little bit there and we've got a little bit of impact damage there, I guess, on the grill, okay? So there are those two bits on it. Whether that is a viable option to replace that centre grill, give us a call. Um, we'll make a few phone calls, price it up and see how uh, much of a job that is. But to be fair, you stand, I, I'm standing, what, a metre and a half away and it's not very standout at all, is it? Driver's side headlamp unit, that's in good condition as well. Your driver's side front bumper corner, that's in good condition with no scuffing. If I get down low, get on my creaky old knees and look down the side of the vehicle, hopefully you can see there are no major dents or dings. There's a couple of minor parking dings. I'll try and point them out to you. They are very, very minor, but they are there, so I will point them out to you. Alloy wheels. We have factory Volkswagen alloy wheels, okay? We have, um, I think they're budget tyres on the front and there may well be budget on the back as well. We'll have a look as we go around. So obviously Volkswagen alloy wheel. We have a minor amount of curb damage and corrosion just there on the alloy wheel, okay? The tyre itself is in good condition. Plenty of tyre tread depth on there, as you can see. I'd suggest you we've probably got in the region of about six to seven millimetres on your front tyres. Your driver's side front wing, that's in good order as well. Your side repeater, that's all good. The mirror unit on the side of the vehicle in overall good condition we've got a really minor mark there we can probably get that touched in for you the mirror unit itself that's all in good condition and it's nice and solid it's not been locked off the vehicle or anything your driver's side door glass is in good condition with no scratching from going up and down the driver's side door itself again that's all in good order as well your door handle door lock etc is all good there's no heavy scratching behind your handles uh, whoever has had it on lease has put these uh, little bit of carbon fibre strips going down the side of the door edges to protect it. Um, so those, if I just go from the top to bottom, your door edges are in good condition. No major marks on there or dents or anything like that. Your um, 
driver side quarter now obviously this is a single side loading door on your passenger side so this driver side quarter is a big old panel um, however you do have your opening factory window here um, so that's good they don't all come as openers in case you didn't realize it um, the panel itself driver side all looking good we have two really minor marks here that actually need I think a, a bit of t-cut and touching we'll actually get rid of those but they're there at the moment if we look down the driver's side of the vehicle again I will try and point them out to you in a second there's a couple of really minor parking dings they are or well, one is it maybe can you see just about see that one there uh, it's in the center in case you can't see it so i am having to point it out to you okay your driver's side alloy wheel again alloy wheel is in overall good condition again it has a budget tire on there that tire i would suggest is relatively new certainly i would say seven to eight millimeters on that tire as part of our 110 point pdi check you will get exactly what your tire tread depths are and um Anything less than three millimeters we replace, legal limit being 1.6 and a new tire being between seven and nine. Rear light unit, driver side, that's in good condition. Driver side, rear bumper corner, your rear reflector there, that's all looking good. You do have reverse parking sensors as well as a reverse parking camera as well. And obviously, on the back end of the vehicle, this is the highly desirable tailgate model, isn't it? It has a glazed heated rear wash wipe window fitted to it. Yes, these are all uh, options that you have to tick. The rear bumper itself is in great all round condition. As you can see, it has a factory Volkswagen um, rear bumper protector fitted to it. You have your reverse parking sensors there as well, but in overall good condition. We have a really handy Swan Neck tow bar as well. That is an additional extra, obviously, um, and you're looking at best part 500 odd quid to fit one of those. So we're looking pretty good. We've got a couple of minor dings on your tailgate. So a couple there and a couple there. Okay, I'm not convinced we can do a lawful lot with those in the position that they're in. They're there and we're pointing them out to you. Badges all looking good. Rear wiper, etc. that's looking good. Rear handle, that's all looking good. Uh, we have obviously a reverse camera fitted underneath the badge about there as well that's all looking good if i open up your tailgate obviously that opens up nicely so tailgate everybody likes a tailgate because when it's raining you can sit underneath it on your little shelf down there change your shoes whatever change escape from the rain etc so inside your tailgate i'm waffling now am i inside of your tailgate this panel here is in great condition okay quite often you'll see things fly around in the back there that gets damaged and hold but this one as you can see is in good condition inside at the back okay so your rear arches your factory combis come with a bare metal rear arch okay it's got it on both sides you obviously get scratched um, as the vehicle is used in no means is this a battered vehicle if you have a look at your interior panels these panels can also get quite badly holed, etc., damaged when it's being used. They're actually in very good condition in this. Your paintwork coming down the edges here, that's in great all round condition as well. Yes, there's minor marks on it, but in overall, depending on how many of these you're looking at, they're in good condition. Now this van, I suspect, is either gonna, it could potentially be sold for conversion use. So um, if that is the case, none of that is gonna particularly bother you. If you wanna buy it as a combi, then we do have in stock some rear, um, their aftermarket um, uh, Volkswagen Transporter wheel arch covers in black plastic. You can fit those to it. It will then protect, obviously, your arch, but it also um, smartens up the look of the back of the vehicle as well. So there is your rear combi seats. It's the three seat, um, the, the single um, sort of, uh, oh God, my mind's gone all um, smoky. Um, it's the big single seat, okay? It's three seat belt, it's got ISOFIX on it as well. If you have a look at the back of that seat, it's in good condition. It hasn't been, again, this is another area where they can get battered, they can get hold, etc. depending on what people are using them for. Your metal work on your combi seat's in great condition as well. It has the factory rubber flooring in it, which still encapsulates your tie down points. 
So I think you'll have, how many you got in it? Six, okay. Uh, these four in the back here, and then you've got a further two in the corners at the front if you decide to take your internal seat out. But overall, I would say it's nine out of 10, really. It's just those arches, um, you know, condition-wise, pretty damn good. Looking down your passenger side of the vehicle, again, nothing major to point out to you. It's all pretty straight and tidy. We have had this one into the detailer, so the detailer has machine polished it, um, and, and it, it really it makes a massive difference. We send all of our dark metallic stuff to the detailers. Rear light unit, as you can see, is in good condition. Passenger side rear bumper corner and reflector, that's all in good condition as well. We have another uh, factory alloy wheel with another budget tyre. So we're, so far we've got three Tiger tyres uh, and those are in good condition. And again, this one has loads of tyre tread depth on it as well. Uh, lower rear quarter, that's all looking good. Upper rear quarter is all looking good. Side loading door on the passenger side again has the factory VW opening uh, mid window. Your sliding door itself, that's in good condition. If I get down low, look at your sills. The sills are in good condition, straight and tidy as they should be. Your passenger front door, uh, that's in good condition as well. Passenger door glass is in good condition. If you look at your handles, behind your handles in good condition as well. Again, on this side, the, uh, the Lisi has fitted a little bit of carbon fiber protector on the door edges. Um, but the door edges themselves are in great condition with no major damage on them or anything along those lines. Sliding door obviously just opens up, slides back nicely as you would expect, nice and freely. And if you have a look at your door shuts, your door shuts are in very clean condition. Your entry sills and plastics on this side again are in good condition. No significant abuse there. Let's just take the price tag away. If you have a look at your seat trim now, as you can see, the seat trim is in nice condition. It has ISOFIX on your outer parts, so both uh, there and there. Your centre one isn't ISOFIX, so you've got two ISOFIX on the outer edges. Your flooring inside, have a look, you can see there's no significant abuse. The back of the seats, back of the seats are in good condition as you can see. Front and back. It is the five seat version. If you want it as a six seater, we can arrange for that to be done as for you as well. But um, yeah, again, overall good condition on the inside. Your headlining panels, those are in great condition as well. And then moving to the front, sliding door, as you can see, that slides closed nicely. And here we have your diesel filler and your add blue filler. Your door card on the passenger side is in good condition as well. There's your book pack with all of your stuff in it. Uh, all looking good there. And then your door shuts. Have a look at your door shuts. So the door shuts are very clean and tidy. Your entry sill points, etc., are all good on this side. Your front flooring, as you can see, is in really good condition. We have glove box with your locking wheel nut in. Uh, we have a USB power here and uh, another auxiliary point there as well. Top of your dashboard, you've got an airbag in there, you've got cup holders, but the dashboard's all nice and clean and tidy. Your passenger seating, as you can see, single passenger seat with twin armrests. So you've got one this side and we have this one that comes down this side. Very comfortable seat as a single passenger seat and those seats are in good condition as well. finishing the outside your passenger mirror unit etc is all good and your passenger front wing and reflector is all good and your passenger front alloy wheel another factory wheel with another tiger tire so you've got four matching brand of tires on there um, and there's plenty of tire tread depth on those tires as well so those are all looking sweet We'll go to the inside of the vehicle so you can get an idea of exactly what it's like in the front end. And I'll point out to you a few of the extras inside. So, driver's side door card again, clean and tidy. Got your nice little bin there. Uh, door shuts, as you can see, again, very clean and tidy. Your entry seals are all pretty good. Got a normal kind of wear on your, this is a rubber seal here. It has metal in it. 
you always kick it down here it gets a bit of water in it and it gets inflamed a little bit from a bit of corrosion that is purely on this big rubber door seal okay always happens just down there your pedal rubbers are all in great condition now it's trend line so you've got manual lights side lights main lights and then all the way out for your rear fog lights your dashboard vents those are all good we have cup holder up here we have electric um, heated uh, mirrors on this side as well and there's your central locking button your driver's seat obviously your height adjustment is on ratchet here again it's a captain's seat so you've got twin armrests the seat itself is in good condition and then getting into the vehicle as you can see 62,793 miles we'll turn it on and fire it up we have a message to say pressure loss check rear right pressure um, so we'll get that checked out on it for you before it goes out the door okay uh, and it's telling us an oil service inspection is due now so yeah that's fine we'll get that sorted out on it your steering wheel as you can see has still all of the factory um, texture on it is the word I'm looking for needs top of add, add blue as well this is all part of the PDI process that will get sorted out on it so don't worry about all of this it'll all get sorted so you got an add blue light on it a service light on it and a tire pressure monitor system light on it we will get that all sorted out left hand stalk over here you've got your cruise control right hand stalk over here gives you your trip computer in the center here gives you your range and all of that don't pay too much attention to your average mpg because it's been sat around on the forecourt so your it's currently been averaging 37.1 miles per gallon over the longest period possible which is how many miles has it been doing that for 200,253 miles it's averaged 37 miles to the gallon factory sat nav i think we've got the card in the wrong slot there if we put the card in this slot over here this will uh, update your navigation system um, so as you can see factory sat nav which is a really nice option to have uh, i've got it running at the moment six speed manual gearbox if i engage reverse gear that will engage your parking sensors but also um, your reverse parking camera as well there's your tow bar as you can see so pretty handy factory sat nav as i've said we put the nav uh, card into the right slot now and then that will give you all of your factory sat nav it also has um, heated rear window which is an option on this we have air conditioning which again is an option on this air recirculate blower fans where you want the air blowing to and your heater settings over here stop start technology hazard warning lights uh, 12 volt power here as I already said USB power over here we have another 12 volt power up here as well top of your dash as you can see is in great condition um, in between your seats etc it's a really nice example um, it's got a really good history with it it's in the right color it's got the right specification um, everybody wants um, tailgate everybody wants the aircon everybody wants the nav unit um, it looks a really sort of respectable van doesn't it it's not blinged it hasn't got the big wheels on it drop kit if you want any of that yes we can get it fitted for you but um, this one is standard it's 150 brake horsepower euro 6 we can remap it to knock it on the door of 198 brake horsepower with our Pendle Performance franchise. Um, do your Googling on them. Uh, and there we go, 70 odd photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the center of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Um, feel free to give us a call, 01905 672 080, or email us sales at vanstoday.com. I think you're gonna have to be quick with this one. I don't think it's gonna hang around very long. It's a price rangey. Volkswagen Combi with a tailgate and aircon and navigation and tow bar and alloy wheels, etc. etc. Reverse camera. Thanks for looking at the video. Hopefully, I've not bored you too much. You need to get uh, 90 minutes of your life back. But um, yeah, if we can be of any further help, feel free to get in touch. Cheers.